Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sons of the Forest. First and foremost, I want to say a big thanks to everyone for the awesome feedback, all the positive comments. Anyways, let's get straight to the point. So in this video, I'm going to share two great weapon locations with you, both the stun button and the catapult, which are going to be essential for survival on the island. They're super easy to get your hands on while they're going to help out big time for your early and mid game adventures. I'm also going to share a pretty neat trick which allows you to get infinite resources. I get you not infinite resources and this is not even breaking the game, it's just the mechanics. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Be sure to leave a like by the way at the end of the video if you enjoy the content. And of course, if you have any thoughts, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below as well. I'd love to help you out. By the way, did you know that every time when you start a new save in Sons of the Forest, you start at a random location? Well, there are at least four of them, for what I can say. And if you're not happy with one, you can always just quit the game and start a new save to get to a certain location as quick as possible. Oh, look at that. This time we actually spawned in the forest. First timer after like plus 30 tries. We actually spawned right next to the baton location and also very close to where I have my base. Fantastic. So for the stun baton, you basically just want to follow the river right here. And here you will find your very first cave system. And right there you will have a rope, which we're going to get to in a second. Remember, I picked up the rope as well as all the stuff from this specific container. Now, what we're going to do is just walk down the road right here and then go to this little waterfall where we basically crashed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you can pick up the stun baton. So, look at that. Alright, boys! Oh man, this one is so much fun to use. And now that we are already at this location, this is literally where I build my base. At this very small pond where you have turtles, plenty of trout, also deer scattered around the area. And if we open up the map, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to zoom out all the way to the maximum. So we're very close to this green bleep right now. This is where you have this huge lake with all the rivers coming together. So facing that way, we have the small waterfall as well as the cave. And that's where you will find the stun baton. So yeah, it's only a couple meters away from this beautiful big lake, which you can find a little bit more to the left of it. Right now though, what we're gonna do is make our way to the mountains. And even though I don't like the cold, we're gonna have to brave it, as there we will find the slingshot. Apologies, by the way, if I said catapult in my previous videos, that's what I call it in my country. But if we take out our GPS and follow the utmost left river towards the mountains, we will find a cave entrance and in front of it, you can obtain the catapult. I mean, the slingshot, sorry. All right, so here we are. This is the cave system I was talking about. It's closed and I don't recommend you to do any caving if you're not yet prepared for the game. But look at this. This guy right here, the first one in line, actually has the slingshot on his body. While you can pick up plenty more goodies right here. So it's actually a perfect place, especially if you land in the mountains, which is only a couple meters away from the spawn point, I think. Anyways, if we open up the map, this specific location can be found right here. So if we're looking at the mountain, towards the mountain, this is what it looks like. If we uh, zoom out, you can see that the three bleeps are to the southwest and south in general. While if we look at the crash site where we can find Kelvin, that's where it is. I always use the big lake, green bleeps and cave systems as orientation because they help out most of the times. Anyways, let's get to the infinite resources, which are a little bit overpowered. And I personally don't abuse this because I like to do it the real way. But um, I figured out that it is very possible to just keep spawning in the same items. So let me just get rid of this tree right here. Forget about what I said earlier, by the way, about remembering where the rope is, as we also found rope right here. But now, if we save the game at this specific location, let's do this on the second save because I don't want to lose my main. But what we're going to do right now is quit the game after saving, and then we're going to go back to the main menu and load the progress which we've just saved. 
So right now we continue our progress, of course, at this little tarp tent, which looks pathetic by the way. But uh, right now, if we turn around, you should be able to find all the resources again. Look at that. So right here we have the rope, we've got some cloth and yeah, he doesn't have another catapult, but I think one is gonna be enough. Don't you agree? Anyways, you can literally rinse and repeat this process to get your hands on an infinite amount of resources. And this, of course, if you're doing it single player, as this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult to pull off multiplayer. But uh, once again, we're just collecting every single thing and our missus is still chilling on the ground right here. But uh, if we open up the inventory right now, you can see that we've collected four ropes already. So yes, pretty overpowered. I don't recommend you to do this, by the way. I don't do it myself either. I absolutely hate cheaters. Family members hiding money under the table when playing Monopoly, Catan or any other game. Northgard, Uncharted Lands, oh, I absolutely hate it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. A big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed watching this one. And of course, there is plenty more coming your way. So don't hesitate to subscribe. If you have questions, suggestions about future videos, leave them in the comments down below. I'm happy to help. Right now, though, it is 4 a.m. out. I want to wish you good luck with your adventures on the island. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Peace.